This is All India Radio. In the program Money Talk, now we bring you a discussion on Centre's push for credit outreach. The participants are Yamini Agarwal, Economic Analyst, and Lalima Anija Dang, AIR Correspondent. The nationwide credit outreach program that commenced on the 16th of October 2021 was an initiative of the Ministry of Finance under which the banks were asked to reach out to every district of the country to give loans to eligible borrowers, of course, as per prudential norms. Well, we had always thought of customers going to banks, but in the last few years, things have changed and banks are now reaching out to the customers. Well, Yamini, how successful do you think we have been in this approach? I think a very important step because it touches all the districts and reaches out to the individuals and especially the poorest of the poor to meet their requirements of money. Especially in this particular program, the public sector banks and undertakings were asked to bring about enrollments in Jan Suraksha Scheme, Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana, Atal Pension Yojana. Also create consumer awareness about financial inclusion and their rights towards the benefits that can be received from the financial sector. Similarly, simultaneously, it was also emphasized on financial literacy, which is a key important aspect for making people self-sustainable, reach out to the benefits of the economic prosperity, which has somewhere or the other affected certain parts of the country or a certain set of people, but has not reached to the poorest of the poor. So when it touches the individuals and goes to the district level, I think it is touching every micro base to reach out to the benefits that financial inclusion and the financial system can provide. Exactly. When we talk of uh, reaching the person who's at the bottom of the pyramid, we talk of how to include that person who is not financially literate. And as we know that we have now, uh, we are trying to reach far-flung areas of the country. In that sense, the government started the Mobile Vans Initiative. What other procedures did the government have to reach out and provide financial literacy uh, to the poorest of the poor in far-flung areas? Well, I think the government has been trying, uh, bringing about awareness to the people about the different programs and the schemes which it has brought about. Since the beginning of the government's initiatives, I think the overall sphere has been primarily to ensure that financial inclusion reaches to them. So a very simple step which that it introduced was the PM Jandhan Yojana right. and asked many banks to open the accounts which were zero cost accounts for the people. Simultaneously, the Ayushman Bharat as a step was also primarily to propagate that health insurance is available to people through health services which are backed by the government insurance. Another important aspect is that when you look at the programs which the EPEC agencies like SEBI or the others have been doing, they have been trying to promote in their own specific areas financial literacy. Another important aspect, as you've already mentioned, was the credit enhancement scheme which the PSUs undertook by you know, creating the awareness in each district. If you look at the government's setup in terms of digitalization or in terms of reaching out to all panchayats through optic fibers or through internet or through 100% electrification of the villages right. or the other aspects, they have also further aided in terms of bringing about a change in people's perspective towards the economic life. So these factors have somewhere or the other enabled the fact that one should become savvy about financial matters so as to lead a better life. And when these products are made available to them, whether it was Jan Suraksha Scheme, it was Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana, Pradhan Mansi Suraksha Bhima Yojana, Atal Pension Yojana, or Shramik Pension Yojana, or the PM Samman Kisan Yojana, where the direct benefit transfers were there, any of these schemes did make people or motivate people to really know what were their financial rights. And they then, you know, somewhere or the other became technologically savvy and also financially literate about what was available to them. Yes, you rightly said that, that all the development that, that has been happening in various infrastructural uh, sectors, it has complemented this as well. And I think in one stroke to say that post offices were converted into banks because we have the world's largest postal system, an amazing postal system where we have post offices in the remote corners of the country. Converting them into banks has also been a great step. And you rightly mentioned, uh, Yamani, that when the public came to know that we can open an, a zero account without any uh, money, 
nobody would have imagined that that would have led to such a revolution that you could put direct bank transfers you could use that and uh, that would keep the middleman away and uh, lead to such a transformation in the lives of the common man yamini yeah, we've had recently in rajasthan many beneficiaries thousands of beneficiaries were given loans of more than 1400 crore rupees and so on and so forth what other sectors do you think this has touched we know there is the mudra yojana there is the kisan credit card there is the stand up india and there is also the pashu palan scheme where as we call in our country pashu dhan where the animal is a farmer's wealth which other sectors do you think this scheme of credit outreach has touched the lives of people i think the credit outreach program or the programs of the government has been keeping in focus the poorest of the poor at the same time it has been keeping in focus the women and the msme sector which right. is there if you look at the government it has been taking care of the people at the streets by handing over loans to the street vendors which were about 2500 crores about people who were rearing cattle the pashu palaks that as we may call it about 68 crores as we have seen also if you look at the manner in which it reaches out to the common man through the msmes especially who are employed in the informal and the formal sector has been an important role for the government it has been providing access to credit market technological upgradation ease of doing business and also a sense of security to the employees of the msmes the entire programs of atmanirbhar bharat 1 2 and 3 during the covid period continuously focused on farmers msmes and the women 59 minute loan portal for loan up to 1 crores 2% interest subvention for all gst registered people pre and post shipment loan interest rebate to be provided then companies with a turnover of 500 crores to be made enabled for trade receivable discounting system these have been some of the initiatives which have been a part of it also at the same time it has reduced the amount of pilferages that happened in government schemes through the direct benefit transfers also secured the lives and livelihoods of the small and marginal farmers through pm samman kisan yojana secured the health of people through ayushman bharat yojana at the same time ensured digital digitalization reaches to the key people and is able to access uh, loans similarly they ensure that the msmes are supported by the public sector undertakings by purchase of at least 25% of their produce where 3% was compulsory to be purchased by the women entrepreneurs similarly technological upgradation have been the key focus of the government as well for technological upgradation tool units have been established also there has been ensured that 5g is enabled optic fibers are laid to each village electrification is laid tap waters pm awas yojana so these are all the benefits that are ensuring that basic facilities simultaneously with the economic prosperity reach out to the last man on the queue and ensure that people can live a self sustaining life both during the pandemic and post pandemic despite the hardships that they have faced during the pandemic and when you talk of msmes surely the gem portal would have helped sure that was a very important portal which has made or ensured that the government as well as the public sector undertakings and many of the msmes are able to sell their products also ensures one particular platform for the msmes and one more key important aspect is that it is preparing the msmes for an international competition which is there to ensure that international standards are available to them so that they can meet any contingencies that may ever fall upon them so ensuring preparedness for the msmes which hires the highest number of people and have been affected facility through mundra yojana or through shishu yojana or through any of the other yojanas have been going through also non recognition of the nps during the covid period quite helpful for many msmes many poor people at the same time yes and that will also encourage our exports which have actually gone up in many sectors you know the local for vocal and every district has to have a unique product was an important idea which does keep us afloat for the exports market to provide for unique products yes odop scheme one district one product and we are trying to promote that heavily yes and similarly we've got divyangjan also into the peripheral part of the society we are trying to get them into the mainstream society by giving them small loans one would have never thought many many years ago that the person who's at the bottom of the pyramid is now being invited to come forward and take a small credit and build his life through that 
Well, how does the government work around this challenge, Yamini? Because it's a huge challenge. We are a huge population. And uh, considering that we are such a diverse population, various districts, various languages, how does the government ensure that it is happening and it's uh, reaching the furthest in the queue? I think the government specifically took care of every part of the society through its campaigns, accessible bharat for the divyang or the physically or mentally challenged. Also, it brought about ensuring that the regulatory authorities in educational institutions ensured disability-friendly environment, whether it was in terms of toilets, ramps, or any other benefits that were there. Also, the schemes of ensuring digital mediums to be made available to people that could reach out to them and make them accessible was key important thing. But it was not only them. At the same time, transgenders. LGBT groups or any person who was left out by way of caste or by way of religion or by way of any other means were brought into the fold of the economic prosperity through the different schemes of the government specifically targeted to ensure people and recognizing their problems not only regulatory measures have been adopted triple talaq for example which troubled the muslim women or there were many other measures or bills that were brought about and introduced to ensure integration in the economy at the same time i do feel that when the government brought about all these measures it took care that through the nep framework the education is self integrating we had the lcc system where integration was to be brought about where people could travel to different states and meet people but the nep made that indian languages be learned also it made it multidisciplinary ensuring the new education policy is creating an education system which is self integrated and brings pride to the country's culture through let's say promoting yoga ayurveda or the cultural heritages that we have had have been the key aspect another important aspect is that we have g20 presidency where it has been propagating peace and sustainability in terms of environment sustainability and lifestyle towards that is also something which is taking us forward there has also been a push and i remember when finance minister ms nirmala sitaraman had gone to nagaland and said that the northeast needs to be activated as far as credit outreach is concerned because we need more investment there it's not just look east it's now act east policy how far do you think we have been successful in that i think very successful because we've seen that when economic prosperity comes in people would like to stay there people would like to develop their region would feel pride to connect with everything that has to do with the development and the very fact that people are given money to do activities which they can be specifically meant for the development of the region is an important aspect of integrating especially many states who have not felt that they were given their dues in the past do you think that is certain synergies required for all the public sector banks are we well prepared for this huge challenge i think the beauty of the government machinery is that it has the right talent in place only the mobilization of the system and the technology needs to be done to ensure that it reaches out and the access and the ability to reach out to the masses as well as the poorest of the poor who believe and confide in them and have confidence in them is what the government machinery has so when we talk about public sector undertakings given their physical infrastructure and the people that they have they have the ability to reach them they understand them and they come from them and that is why they can really connect with them but what does stop somewhere or the other are a lot of barriers which need to be removed so ensuring that technology supports them simultaneously through literacy drives as well as infrastructural facilities is what would hold the key thank you very much dr yamini for talking to us thank you you were listening to a discussion on center's push for credit outreach the participants were yamini agarwal economic analyst and lalima anija dang air correspondent This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of All India Radio. You can listen to it on a mobile app News on AIR. This program is also available on a YouTube channel News on AIR Official. You may email opinion about this program at airnsdtalks@gmail.com.